project, then you're going to name the project. And I'm going to create this. And so this first page is just your claim info. Your claim info is going to be the homeowner's info sketch. Make this pretty quick and simple. We're going to go room by room. So you start up here with a room. Let's bring a room here. Uh, and we're going to name this room, let's call this the entry employer. And let's say this is going to be a 10 foot long foyer. If you double click on the name, uh, this is going to be all of the dimensions and information. Ceiling height is going to be 8 feet, which in a lot of houses that is a normal ceiling height. But let's say our ceiling height here is going to be 10 feet. So we're going to put 10 feet there. So we have our foyer. Now let's say we have a living room. So we're going to click again on room. We're going to connect it to the foyer. Let's say it is. So let's say this is 12. So you can click. Really, you have to click here. Uh, when you click on this square, it lets you edit this square. Let's say that's uh, 15. And then when you click on this square, it lets you edit this square. Go over a few of the items that you're going to put in on mitigation to on this and adding it. Uh, what this does is it automatically adds the square footage of all the drywall in that room. And so this is if we ripped out all of the drywall in the entry. And if it's really bad, then normally we would do that. Like on these hurricanes, we've been doing that a bunch. Uh, but if it's a water leak and we just need to do what are called like two foot or four foot flood cuts to where we go in and we cut just the bottom two foot, well, then you're going to measure that out and you're going to adjust that. Or actually, there's actually a category to where you could do this by linear feet and you could do like the two foot cuts for linear feet. So let's say we're tearing out the drywall. What else we need to tear out is going to be um, the insulation. So you don't want any wet insulation. So we're going to pull out the wet. We're going to do tear out wet insulation. So we'll just do this one. Tear out and bag wet insulation. Uh, this here, when it says in confined spaces, that would be like in the attic. So if you're pulling out insulation in the attic, make sure to click on the one tear out and bag insulation in confined spaces because that adds a dollar extra for square foot or almost. So we're going to add tear out with insulation. Okay, we're going to add that. Uh, again, we're going to go back to water extraction. Uh, what else are we going to do in here? Well, we ripped out the drywall. We ripped out the insulation. So let's say they have wet carpet. So now we want to pull the carpet out. I'll type in carpet. So this is water extraction from the carpet. That means we're going to be sucking the water out. We're not doing that. What we're doing is we're tearing out non-salvageable carpet. So we're going to tear out wet non-salvageable carpet, cut, bag, and dispose. We'll click that, pay 76 cents a square foot. Okay. And so over here, again, it shows you pictures of um, the details. So if you have any questions, you can click on this. You can read this, uh, and it tells you exactly what it's going to cover. Uh, it covers labor costs to remove bag, wet, non-salvageable carpet, and to discard in a job site waste uh, receptacle. Uh, no, okay. And so all of these items, they're going to give you a detail of what they cover and what they don't cover. So, and again, the square footage is only going to be for the floor. This F over here stands for floor. You have an F for floor, W for wall, C for ceiling. That's what these are going to be over here. So it's 51 square feet of flooring. And so we're going to click OK. We add that. And so now we have, again, our, we have our floor pulled out. We have our drywall pulled out. We have our insulation pulled out. What else could there be? What else would there be? This is something that you just probably wouldn't know until you know. There is a, well, there's a spray. 
So you can apply an antimicrobial agent, and this pays 34 cents a square foot. And you're going to do this, you're going to add this on all of our mitigation claims. Uh, so once we pull this out, we're going to um, spray this down with antimicrobial agent uh, just to keep any mold from growing. So again, this is detail, uh, just tells what it covers, and it's going to kill any bacteria and, and harmful mildew. So we're going to add that as well. Okay, so now we have pretty much everything that we're going to be pulling out in the foyer. Once you get all of this pulled out, then what are you going to do? Well, now we have to add blowers, right? So when you're doing mitigation, you pull out everything that's wet, and then you want to dry it out. So again, we're going to WTR. We're going to our water extraction. And if you just put in blower, air movers. Um, we're going to add air movers to each of these rooms. These are just blowers that dry out that area, right? And so when you go through your um, water mitigation class, then it will tell you air movers you need per feet, uh, depending on the square footage of a room. To be honest with you, I don't remember off the top of my head what that number is, but you can look that up and find out. And so this foyer is 30, what is it? Uh, I forget, it was 50 something square feet. Yeah, 51 square feet, right, is the foyer. So let's just say we're gonna do two. Now, this is per 24 hour period, as you see right here. So let's say we're gonna put two there, but let's say we wanna run it for three days. So you're gonna put um, two that you're doing, but then you need to do that for three days. So really that two is gonna become a six, if that makes sense. So it's two blowers for three days. I'm gonna add that. And then also, we're gonna put in a de dehumidifier. So you don't need a dehumidifier for every room. You need um, one for large spaces, uh, like in this case, to where we have one bedroom, um, hallway, the bathroom. So what I would do is I would put one de dehumidifier in the living room, um, and then I would put one dehumidifier in the master bedroom. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this in. Let's just say we're gonna do one large dehumidifier. And so we're gonna do this for three days because this is, again, this is for per 24 hour period. So three days of this. Um, now we have our dehumidifier for the living room. And so that is the general items that you're going to be putting down for your mitigation. Uh, there's a couple more actually. So you can charge for setup and tear down. So because it takes time to put this these items up and to take these items out. So I think it's set up maybe. Yeah, so equipment set up, take down and monitoring. You're gonna add this and you're gonna have, you know, the hourly charge is $72 an hour. So then you're gonna put how many hours it took you. And if it takes you three hours to do that, well then that's an extra $216. Um, again, though, you can't put that for every room. If it took you three hours for the whole house, well then you'll just put that in one room. So now you have all of these items. Uh, these are pretty much the basic items that you're going to put in for your mitigation claim. Uh, really, that's the hard part because once you have this, you can click on this. I'm hitting my shift button now and I'm scrolling down and I'm going to take these items, everything except for the equipment set up in the dehumidifier. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy um, and I'm going to go to the living room and I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to go to the hallway. I'm going to paste. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to paste. That's assuming everything has carpet and everything. You know, um, and I'm going to master bedroom. And I'm going to paste. And so what it will do is it will automatically adjust the square footage that you will need each room. So the master bedroom as we see, um, is 114 square feet, square feet, the room size, but then uh, how much drywall and how much insulation is going to be 
564 square feet to where if you go to the bathroom, you know, that changes just depending on the size of the room. And again, this is all under the assumption that we are ripping every bit of the drywall out. If you're not pulling all of the drywall out, then you want to change this to the amount of square footage of drywall that you are pulling out. But this is going to automatically put in the size of the room. So this would be under the assumption that every piece of drywall in these rooms is getting ripped out. Uh, once you have all this information in, uh, you know, you just need to think logically about what else you need. Well, uh, if you're pulling all this stuff out, you need a place to put this stuff, right? So you're going to have to have a trash bin out there. So I put this under just main level. Your trash bins are going to be under general demolition. And you're going to look for a dumpster. So what size dumpster are you going to need? It just depends on how much debris you have. And so let's say, we, you know, typically a 30-yard dumpster is um, a pretty normal size that we'll go with. Uh, and it shows you a picture of what they look like. So this is if we have one of these. We bring it to the site. And this tells you that it's going to charge for uh, the company to pick up, a uh, company to drop off, and then any uh, dump fees that will be included. So that will all be in this. So, and that's going to pay $550. Uh, so we're going to add that. So now we have this. So what else will we need? If we're pulling these items out, what if we need a pod to put in, um, you know, the homeowner's storage stuff? So, you know, let's say everything is damaged. Well, they have a, a house full of items as well, right? So we might need a pod. So we can go here. Um, a pod is going to be under content. Content packing and handling and storage okay so job site storage containers and so if uh, we want to do on site so let's say we would drop a pod out there pods are going to run a certain price looks like this pays $87 a month which honestly uh, I think a pod runs like eight at like 300 a month to have it dropped but that's stuff that you can, if you show receipts for that kind of information, you can get that bumped up. Oh, okay. No, it's, it added. Okay. So it's, they're paying, uh, looks like $665 for this. So that works. So we're going to add that item. And then again, if you know, you're pulling all this stuff out, well, you need to go and charge for, uh, the items that you're taking out of the house, the items that you're packing, I'm not going to go through everything because this will just take forever to go through all the items that you would. But I just wanted to give you a general idea of um, how to build these uh, these Xactimates. And so and that's why they're so timely. And that's why they take so long is because you want all these details in there. And while you're trying to add them, you're trying to remember, you know, well, what exactly are we doing? You have to get, you know, very detailed in these because if you don't, you're just going to miss out on a bunch of money. And so to give you an example, let's say in this bathroom, let's go to this bathroom, right? And so let's say it's not carpet because it's not going to be carpet. Most people don't put carpet in their bathroom. So let's say we get rid of this carpet, delete this, and let's say it's tile. And so now that we deleted that, we're going to go in here. Let's see if tile is in here. Yep. Okay. So now that's ceiling tile. Mm. Tile floor. Okay, so tear out non salvageable tile flooring and bag for disposal. So that's going to pay $7 a square foot. So let's say we add that in there, right? Now what you need to think about is, okay, well, all of the other details like, well, if we're pulling that tile out, we're going to have to pull the toilet out. Uh, you know, we have to reset that. You know, we have to pull that toilet off and reset it. Well, if you're not thinking of those items, you'll miss out on the fact that uh, a toilet, I think it pays like $250 just to take that out and, and, and reset it. Uh, so you can go under plumbing here and let's type in toilet. If I could spell toilet. Okay. And so detach and reset, right? So that pays, you know, $260 here that if you're not thinking about those items, you're just going to miss them. So you're going to want to put that in. Again, what is something else that you would take out? Uh, 
you know, we took out the drywall. What's on top of drywall? Baseboards, right? So it's another item. So W2R. So we're going to water extraction. Just type in baseboards. Um, there's baseboards and then there's also trim because sometimes you're taking out the whole. And really, in this case, if we were taking out all the drywall, we'd be taking out all the trim as well. So this would be if you were tearing out just baseboards, you could tear out baseboards. But if you're tearing out all the trim, um, that would be, you know, the doors and everything. So tear out trim, 67 cents a square foot. Uh, you're going to add that. And that's going to be over here. Again, it's going to show you the pictures, right? So if we look at the square footage, or excuse me, linear feet, it's 20 linear feet. So no, actually, that does not include the baseboards. This would just include the door trim uh, because there's no way 20 square foot, 20 linear feet, that's just going to be this trim. So you would be able to add that if you're pulling that out, and then also baseboards. So go in, tear out baseboards, um, and then add that. And so you're just going to go through each room, and you're going to make sure you have to think of everything that you have to do in that room, and you're just going to make sure that whatever you're whatever item you're performing that we're getting paid for those items. Uh, and if you don't take your time and if you don't get detail oriented, you're going to leave a lot of money on the table because, uh, you know, you just didn't add these items. You know, they're not going to go in and add these items for you. If this is what you say and you don't put toilet detach and reset, well, they're not going to remind you. Oh, actually, look, that's actually um, $315. So they're not going to go in there and remind you of that. So you, know, you need to make sure that you're setting all these items and you're, and you're adding this.